Welcome to a little Lab Rat Fun Networking with Fish. So as you probably read from networkingwithfish.com, this is the part one of the series of the BGP Show and Tell. So we're going to go ahead and at this point in time, we already have a uh, IPv4 eBGP peer between R20 and the internet, and an IPv6 eBGP peer between the two, and also a IPv4 eBGP peer between R30 and the internet, and an IPv6 one. What we want to do right now is go ahead and actually bring up a IPv4 eBGP peer uh, because neither R2 nor R3 in Autonomous System 10 um, actually have uh, BGP connected yet, BGP peers yet to their service providers. What we're going to go ahead and do is bring up an IPv4 eBGP peer between R2 and R20 and an IPv6 eBGP peer between R2 and R20 and then we will be successful and this little snippet of the show and tell will be over once R20 actually gets this as an IPv4 address in its rib and this as an IPv4 address in its IPv6 rib. So let's go ahead and go to R2. Let's do a show IP BGP summary. We have no IP BGP. Let's do a show OSPF neighbor. We have um, R2 is actually OSPF peered with R3 as well as R1. Let's go ahead and configure this. So router BGP question mark. So it's the autonomous system number. If we look back over here again, router 2 is going to be an autonomous system number 10. We want to eBGP peer with 20.2.20.20 remote autonomous system 20. So let's go ahead and do that. And I did not mean to do that. So let's go ahead and go back over here. So 10. Now I'm a big, huge fan of making sure that you actually have your router ID in here. And I also like to know what's actually going on. So let's do a neighbor 2. Dot, I'm sorry, 20.2.20.20. Remote Autonomous System 20. We're also going to do it the newer way, which is to actually put this inside of the address family. Now, I could go ahead and type neighbor 20.2.20.20 again, or I can just up arrow and say activate. And I also wanted to send community. Uh, we can talk about that later. Send community. So if we do a show run, begin router BGP. This is what we actually have right here, uh, from here to here. And if we actually do a show IP BGP summary, we'll see, oh, that's interesting. OK, well, my autonomous system number is 10. Their autonomous system number is 20. And we are idle. So OK, let's up arrow again. OK, well, that's not working. Let's ping 20.2.20.20. OK, well, that's not working. So obviously, of course, uh, BGP rides on top of the IB IP, so your IP actually has to be working. So let's do a show IP route. And we will notice that 20.2.20.20 is not actually in there. Let's do a show IP interface brief. And we will see that I accidentally, of course, I did not actually accidentally uh, have this shut down. So let's go ahead and no shut that. And voila, after we no shut that, we do a show IP BGP summary and, hmm. OK, well, maybe we didn't wait long enough. OK, well, can I ping? OK, I can ping. OK. Huh. OK, show TCP brief. Well, oh, that's not good, huh? Fin wait. So we actually see that our local address for router 2 is actually port 179, which is the TCP port for BGP, is actually talk trying to talk to router 20. And just this is just not working. So um, but I'm not getting any error messages. And I did do that BGP log never changes. So a little bit confused about that. So maybe I am. Um, Oh, maybe I'm telneted in and I haven't done term on. So term, oh, nope. OK, so I'm not telneted in. I'm actually in the um, console. And I don't have logging console on, apparently. Or let's just see, include logging. No, I do not have logging console on. But I know I have logging buffered on. So let's figure out what's going on in the log. Alrighty then, so um, we are receiving from our neighbor, uh, router 20, 
a uh, shut up, <laughs> I call it a shut up, but a BGP notification we're receiving from Router 20, and we are being told by Router 20 that we are in the wrong autonomous system. So uh, this is just not going to come up. They're sending us a BGP autonomous um, thing. Now, that doesn't make a lot of sense, right? Because if we do a show IP BGP summary, I'm in autonomous system 10, and they are in autonomous system 20, just like the diagram shows. Well, in your environment, if you're really talking to your service provider or you're really talking to another company, a partner or whatever, um, all you know is this is just not going to work. So let's go and call them up and go over to R20. And they say, oh, you know what, Fish, you're right. Oh, somebody accidentally put you in as remote autonomous system 100. So let's do a show logging over here. And we say, yep, actually, indeed. We are definitely sending this. We are actually sending a neighbor reset. And we're saying, go away. We don't like you. And, but it's all because of that. So let's go ahead and fix that. Now, what some people have asked me before is why don't we, if we're going to go to all, if R20 is going to go to all the lengths to actually send a BGP notification and say, you are in the wrong autonomous system, why not say you are in the wrong autonomous system? I expect you to be in autonomous system 100. Well, these are eBGP, external BGP peers, and you probably do not want that. So let's go ahead and change this. This is actually really easy to change. So let's just go ahead and go right here and just take out one of those zeros. And go ahead and go back over to uh, here. And we are up and we have prefixes. So let's do a show IP BGP. So we actually have the uh, loopback that we're looking for, which is 40, 100, 140. So it's right here, 40, 100, 140. So if we do a show IP route, BGP, we see 40, 100, 140 is actually here in the rib. So awesome coolness. Now, what you don't know is that this entire time I've actually been doing a sniffer capture over on viral. That's actually the reason why the interface was shut down. But what we're going to go ahead and do is I still want to bring up that IPv6 one. So we're going to go ahead and let the sniffer capture between uh, on the physical link between router 2 and router 20 continue to run and we will look at it later and parse out where the different spots are. So now we've captured the notification and the BGP peer not coming up. We've also captured the BGP IPv4 peer coming up and the advertising of routes. And we're about to go ahead and capture the IPv6 coming up if we go ahead and let it continue. So let's go ahead and uh, do that next. So let's go ahead and actually do a, um, an IPv6 and go to router 2 and do a config t. And again, router bgp10. And we'll do a neighbor 2001 dog baker 8. And then 220 colon colon 2 remote autonomous system 20. So you cannot configure, and that's because of the fact that I don't mean to be picking to myself, I mean to be pointing to them. Um, address family IPv6. And again, I'm going to go ahead and be cheesy. Activate. And then send community. So now we're going to do a, I have a, I have an alias. <laughs> um, and we're idle again. So again, we're still idle, but can we ping it? Well, yeah, okay, we can ping it. So now what? Now what's going on? Now what's going on? Oh, seriously? OK, so we're still getting the wrong autonomous system number for IPv6 as well. So we're still getting rejections. Let's go back over to R2 and R20. And yep, there it is. So let's fix that router. BGP 20, 
and this is actually us right here and again it is pointing to autonomous system 100 which is wrong um, it's actually autonomous system 10 as we know let's go ahead and go back and let's go back to R2 and do that command again and there we are, we're actually up. And by the way, that command actually is, I have aliases, that command is show IPBGP IPv6 unicast summary. Now if we actually take that part off and we hit enter, then we will actually see that we do have the 2001 dogbaker 8 40, 40, colon, colon 40 actually in our BGP. Uh, so, and then if we actually look here for show IP route 6, um, we will actually see again the uh, dog Baker 8 40 40 40 colon colon actually in our routing table. Now here's the question: Can we can we ping it? Let's try to ping 40. What did we say the IPv4 address is? Let's try to ping 40 100 140. 40 100 140. Hmm. Okay, that didn't work. Now, why didn't it work? Let's go over to the internet and find out. Let's do a, let's go to the internet. Let's do a debug IP ICMP. And let's go ahead and ping again. So if we go back over to the internet where the 404040 40 lives, um, it's like, okay, well, I get the ICMP echo. I'm going to go ahead and try to do an ICMP echo reply. And the destination I'm trying to get to is 2220.2. So let's go ahead and look, show IP route. And I don't actually have 20.2.20.2. So I am receiving it, but I'm not actually, I don't have an IP address for it back. In fact, if you notice, I really have nothing. Uh, if we do a show IP BGP, I have nothing here that's originating in autonomous system 10 that I know about at all as the internet. All I know about is 20. So let's go ahead and let's actually move on because we are done with this one and we actually have the IPv4 and the IPv6 in our rib, which is what we were trying to do. Now, let's go ahead and come over here and stop this sniffer capture. So we'll go ahead and take the sniffer capture and we'll do a save as. And we'll go ahead and go over to my stuff and if I actually know where I am, <laughs> this would have been good. Uh, let's go to, I call it fish market. Yes, I do. Fish market and then the BGP show and tell. So this is R2, R20, IPv4, IPv6, neighbor, uh, startup. Now this, of course, will have the... Um, the BGP startup, it'll have the IPv4 fail, the IPv4 success for the eBGP because the autonomous system number is wrong. So we'll see the notification in here as well. But we're not gonna go ahead and do that yet. So what we're gonna go ahead and do next is we're going to end this one. And the next one we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and bring up um, an eBGP peer, IPv4 and IPv6 between R3 and R40.